Let's try the dumbest strategy ever. NG, Alk, Spike. If we somehow make it to late game, maybe we can get Super Mines, but it's kind of hard with uh, no ult eco. But yeah, I'm just kind of YOLOing strategies right now. Why are we at the start of a new season? New meta, boys. Uh, <laughs> reinvent the meta one by one. NG, Alk. I'm not sure why Raw Balloon boosted there, or Monkey boosted. Probably an accident or something. I think Blue Trap should not be targetable with like all cross path. It should be middle path. Because if that's the way it works in BD6, I don't know why they change it here. Nonetheless, it's a bit of an NG buff, so we'll, t we'll t we take those, we take those. Not that people want NG buff because it's annoying to play against, but if it's if it's a new feature that makes it better, then I'll try it out. Now, round, um, uh, crap. Round crap is here, guys. And I don't have my, uh, my thing up. If I don't eco anymore, I can get it, so quickly. Got it. Nice. Now, the only problem is that I can't have it suck up AI balloons. But I think I'm okay. Seats to lose 70 lives. 100 lives. I'm okay. Yeah, I won't be eating the AI balloons up, but at least I'll get the, uh, you know, the money that Rob Burritos is sending at me. He might be going for a dark farm. If it's not a farm, then hallelujah. Will I get a Camel Churchill in time? The answer to that is definitely no. So, I'm not sure what I want to do right now. But I got some ideas in mind, so uh, let's see. Alk buff can go here. And I'm going to build a factory. That's right, a factory. This factory is going to be... Top path. Apparently Smart Spikes is good. 102. And I'm going to target it close. This is to build up spike piles in case he rushes. I gotta work on an alpha buff too. But yeah, let's get the alpha buff. It's going on Churchill, so not the uh, spike. I need to get a fourth gear for it. But this holds up a lot if you alpha buff it. Give me the money, thank you. Alright, now we're good. I am now unbrushable. JK. But hopefully he doesn't know that. What a miracle. No rushing. Oh, speak of the devil. As I say, he's not rushing. He sends me a a wad of regrow rainbows, which I'll boost instantly. But look at that spike pop. Holy moly. 1,000 pops. That's crazy. Do you see how, much, how many spikes are shooting up with the boost, too? Holy crap. He can't even counter rush me if he wanted to. Now, unfortunately, this game is anti stalling, so I probably can't afford a, you know, a strong uh, upgrade like Super Mines. How much is it in Bloom City Battles? I forget. But it's pretty expensive, I think. Alright, now that we have enough money, and we'll go Spike Balls too. Is he dying to White Balloons? Hang on. Let's drop a couple of re rainbows in here. So let's see if it can cost lives off him. Anything? Okay, he's fine now. Let's send one F Moab to force uh, defense. He's going for a Crossbow? Um, this map is long enough, so I'll let him get away with it. But I should have sent two out. And that would have been a problem. Wait, he's dead. Nice, he boosted. Trap in intersection? Yes, good idea. Because now he's not sending out eco at me. So I should... Oh, I can't target a new one because... The old one has to fill up. So unfortunately... That's a bit of a blunder. I could either sell my trap... Or get another one. Let's go for another one, huh? Yeah. There we go. Two traps at the entrance. Yeah, he's not going to eco at this point, so let's just sell the, the trap. And let's actually go for his UMG. I want to put some pressure on him, force some ammo up at least. Instead of him ecoing all the time. You know what? I'm going to buy this upgrade just to see how much Supermines is in this game. 110, okay. Yeah, that's totally affordable with eco, guys. We, we'll totally get this one next. But this is bad. And I can't beat the UMG. Well, how do I beat the UMG? I think I just have to... um. Spike Storm and hope Spike Mines kills the rest. How much is level 10? Oh, this is cheap. I actually might not need to use anything. Spike Mines should tank all this. If it doesn't, I'll be sad. Come on, Spike Mines. Uh, Spike Mines Clutch. Look at that, guys. Spike Mines Clutch. It just destroyed a ZMG right there, folks. Alright, I think we stop equing now. 4,600. No more, guys. No more. So, how do I defend a uh, 
uh, an F pad? Well, let's think. I think what I gotta do is I gotta out buff a couple spikes. Send a ZMG or a pad, I dare you. No bad, okay. Guess he's waiting for a little bit later. If it goes late enough, I could even go for his root mines. Let's see where I wanna place it. Oh, he's going tight ceramics, okay. That's not gonna do anything, mate. That spike falls, man. What the heck? I think I'll sell this. I'm so close. Okay, one more boost. Don't send it out yet. Don't send it out yet. Actual zero mines in a real game. Real competitive game. Here we go. Now, overhaul. Yes, that's why we go for the, um, the NG. So we can overhaul zero mines. I didn't think about that, did I? That's because I didn't think we'd feasibly get it up in a real game. But we did. And now we overclock it to make it more stacks. I would ultra boost, but I don't have the money right now. Is he is he gonna GG round 40 me? I sure hope not. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna send one immediately. Because I know he can't beat it. Now let's carve the spikes and let's watch the damage of the the uh the thing. Breathe oh whoa! Wait, that popped instantly. Oh, that was that was fast. Okay. Question is, can we beat the insides of balloons? I think we have enough super mines to t take care of it, right? Or do we gotta get a big trap? Do I gotta get a big trap? No, I don't. Nice. Super mines deals with the insides and does good bad damage too. Look at the pops. 250k. Again, this is the same buff it got from BD6. But yeah, in battles, it looks like um it's viable if you have enough money for it. Which is not gonna happen. With this strategy, at least. Especially since, you know, going NG requires another tower too. And Rob Readers cannot defend, because he didn't go for Crew Moab. And GG. Dino Graveyard, eh? You know what, let's do it. We're gonna try that strategy I tried earlier, but failed. Failed as in it didn't get late game. But I feel like this has potential late game if I get through the early game. This strategy. No need to say more. Other than Super Mines, late game. And then early game, we just figure out how to, how to survive. Ah, okay, a Boat Elk's back fellow user. Okay. This is good for us because we can make lots of money off his eco. And he could go Boat Farming, but that's, you know, way worse than the alternative. Looks like Loons are getting past Quincy, Quincy's bow guys. I think he might have lied or something. Well, that's not good for him. So, yeah, 2870. I've done the math. 2870, we can go for the Balloon Trap. Hopefully by then, round 5 would have just started, and I won't leak too many lives. So I need one, two more income boost. Two more. Two more. You gotta wait for this one. Sell it now. And perfectly timed. Let's get a sentry gun so I don't leak lives here. While the trap is down. Nice. Double gun clutch. So we basically go for two, zero, four. Actually, no, I'll go for Churchill next so I get the leveling ASAP. He's doing anything. That's probably the right choice. Going pinks while going Merchantman. Still gives you good eco. Gives me money though, so I'll take it. And I have to put Churchill here, I think. This is probably the spot that doesn't take away pops from the Blue Trap. Yeah, we'll just have it target. Actually, can we target through here? Wait, no. Like, what if I put my next trap up here? That would be sick. Let's see. If it lands. Uh... Actually, no, that, that's good. That's good. Alright, nice. I mean, I guess it doesn't really get, make a difference, but sure. It's cool having a, a the trap land through the skull, I guess. Now, yeah, for round 13, basically, I'm gonna go for a sniper over here that blocks the line of sight, so I get maximum money from trap. Bouncy bullet, Churchill. Should defend most things. Alongside trap giving me, uh, you know, time. I'll eat up some balloons too from a rush, if I get to any. Also, I forgot to go uh, yellows this, this game. I was wondering why I had $5,000 and then send yellows out, so my eco is really low. Let me send zebras to uh, catch up. Now that. Actually, hmm. He doesn't have the thing up. Let's try. Oh, okay, he got a tier 4 instantly. Okay. I think I have the defense most things, so I'll, I'll pull back. I might need to go for this, actually. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, let's get this for safety. If he rushes, this is better than a fancy bullet by a little bit. I'll take this green money, though. It's it's still pretty good. Probably collected from this trap like eight times already. Maybe more. 
I've not really been uh, keeping track. This defense is vulnerable, but he's not really trying to, like, rush me, so uh, I can kind of get away with it. Maybe they're scared to rush, since there's Churchill and a Supply Drop and Bloom Trap. Because it, it might sneakily defend more than you think. At least I feel that way. I wonder what I'll do for Moabs. Uh, he'll send Mob at me for sure, so let's see. Oh, I should do this. 102 Spactory. One close. And then I guess Churchill does good damage too. So watch this, guys. Churchill ability. And I can clean up. Nice suit, nice suit. Yeah, we'll go for Elite Sniper soon as well. He's gonna go for an F Mob now, okay. F Mob time, okay, let's see. Do I need to go for more? I just one or not? No, I think that's White Bob can, can handle it. Watch this, guys. Wait. Let me use this thing. Sell you and buy you. Put on first, actually. Use Churchill. Get the crate. And yeah, nice. Defense easy. That's how you defend. Now I absolutely should send a blue in him. Wait, is he all inning? Oh, what? Okay, wait. Alright. You do not go for a trade empire with one... With no, no merchant men. Huh? I'm gonna go ease on him. Because I feel like it. Even though I could kill him right here. He boosted, I think, right? Um, that's pretty interesting. That's all I can say. I'm gonna play the long game against him. I should definitely be having a lot more money than him. At least looking at... Looking at the amount of money I have right now. Let's do some quick math. I got about 4k eco. With, uh... Uh, elite Sniper, and three Supply Drops. Alright, I'm gonna get a new trap up here, now that's late game. Two is your four. In case you're wondering how I defend DDT is, I'll get a, I'll get a maim after one more Supply Drop. After this one. Alright. So let's go for 420 over here. And then 040. And then basically NG here. The thing is, if I want to get Super, super Mines for round 32 or something like that, I should stop equaying uh, pretty much now. So, last uh, snipers, guys. I'll go one more after this, but stop equaling at 4k. There we go, 4k and 1. Triggered. Alright, last one, last one. No more. Let's get ready now, folks. That's about 6, 7k eco, I would say. And I kind of think my super mines here is good, because then the explosion can get this curve here. And then, hopefully, spikes can, like, be built up this far away, if that makes sense. Some of them, at least. And then I can overclock it. That's the reason why I went for this. Oh, the cool thing is that now you can see how much money the trap made you. 8k for this guy. It was 16k for the one I just sold. But look at the money, how fast I'm making money. I can get zero mines for uh, around 30 if he did send his UMG. Although I probably should go for carpet spikes first. That's better mob damage than that. Also, maybe a perma spike back here. No, I can't. It's Dino Graveyard. Can't do that. Alright, f bat immediately. Okay, 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 okay. Quickly. Should I sell a sniper for this? Let's sell one. To at least overclock it, okay? I can't choke this. I can't choke this. Let me go with some... Uh, white stuff sentries. Um, let's go a few spike storms too. Hang on. Spike storm. Just in case Super Mines isn't, isn't doing enough damage. But it should. Let's move that. Stormine should absolutely destroy the insides of this. If not, I will be very disappointed in Stormines. But this should absolutely pop before we even get there, right? Let's see. I can't tell the damage phase of it. But come on, I'm overclocking this thing. Yep, pops. Watch the BFBs, guys, get absolutely annihilated by Stormines. See? I think we're just gonna defend here for now. For now. Keep on spike storming. I should probably go for a carpet spike soon. Yo, overclock super mines OP, am I right? How much damage so far? 177k. Nice. Just nice. Oh! Titan's UMGs, here we go. This'll be interesting. Hold on, let me big trap this. Wait. Big trap. There we go. 
in case it actually does get by. But it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Currently at 400k damage. And counting. 440. 480. 540. <laughs> nice try. Alright, let's send one normal bad. I'll go a bit easy on him. Well, I don't think he's gonna pop this. But if he does, then congrats to him. I'll just take him late, because I'm pretty sure I can outscale, since he already rushed me a lot. He probably will pop this, right? He's got Perma Spike too, to clean up. But maybe the Zoom Gs are so strong that he'll die. Actually, speaking of Zoom Gs, let's just send that tight Zonga. More tight Zongas. If he's smart, he'd BMA it. Oh, if he, okay, he's not smart. <laughs> that gets one at a time, bro. Versus BMA. I'm pretty sure BMA does, uh, what? Four at a time? At least two at More than one at a time. That's for sure. Alright, we'll tighten ZMG to death. Why not? Here comes the all-in, boys. Watch this. Doesn't even reach Supermines. Nice try. GG's, GG's. BMA is two? Okay. Never mind. Now, I know this is only one game, but it looked pretty, looked pretty good to me. Thanks to Sniper, so I get the Supermines way earlier than, like, you know, Eco Strats. So that's good.